Radio BDC, good morning, and what a treat we have uh, in the studios. I am so excited. We have some uh, very exciting characters in the studio this morning. They are musicians. They are from Circus Oz, all the way from Melbourne, Australia, performing in studio right now, but at the Schubert Theater tomorrow through Sunday. So, guys, why don't you take it away? Very, very That's amazing. That's awesome. That was so great. And that is just three performers, just through all that noise, three performers from Circus Oz in town all the way from Melbourne. And joining us are Anya, Carl, and Beck. And Carl... Uh, that song is is really has a, has sort of a New Orleans marching band sound to it. <laughs> yeah, well, it is a very New Orleansy sort of um, bass piece. It's for the uh, the ring juggle uh, routine, and we come out in a little parade, and Hazel does her ring juggle, and it's a very you know celebratory. Song. So there's no orchestra pit for for circus. Oh songs. no no, we're well and truly on stage. We're in uh, we're in uh, you know stupid outfits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. And we goof around as much as possible. We try and steam the, uh, steal the limelight, but, you know. The troupe was born in 1978, and from what I understand, it was two, two other troops coming together. Is that correct? Yeah, it was um, a Soapbox Circus and uh, what was the other circus called? New Circus. New Circus. They were brought together in 78 for a... Um, they were very small. They were both independent sort of groups, uh, very anarchic back in those days. Is yeah. this your first time in the States? Uh, the circus, no. It's, we've done a few tours of the States. We were here last year. We've got an agent here, David Leibowitz, who uh, does his best to bring us over as often as possible, and we love it over here, I've got to say. Well, uh, you arrived yesterday. You're at the Schubert Theatre tomorrow night through Sunday. Uh, what, what sets your circus apart from any other that we can see? We're a lot better than all the rest. I'm of sure. <laughs> <laughs> I have Your feeling, music is a lot better, I'll I tell you that. I have a feeling you're a lot more fun. Is that correct? Uh, we're a lot of fun. Look, it's... Um, it's basically adults making themselves laugh or making each other laugh. Mm -hmm. We put the show together from uh, from the floor up, so people come along with ideas. We try, we sort of nut them out together uh, in different, you know, in, in our own little departments in the rehearsal process, 
And, uh, yeah, we just try and keep the thing as enjoyable as possible for ourselves. And, you know, that uh, translates to the audience. It's a great, it's a fun, in, it's a very fun show to watch. You know, I, I, I would challenge anyone to walk away with that big smile on their face. You're an animal-free circus. And that, I would imagine, was a very conscious decision. Uh, well, yes, it was. Well, I think it was actually, this was uh, back, in the, uh, back in the old days. I think it was both. It was conscious decision, and it was also a practical one because it was uh, because of the touring. It's much it's, harder to travel with animals. Well, it's basically impossible to take animals out of Australia and back into them. But however, it's never been a um, an issue that's been raised within the company as something anybody really wanting animals. I think you know these days, the uh, the 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 way the way the world has turned. You know, animals they belong in the wild. I think we all kind of agree on that. And <laughs> and you guys are wild enough anyway. We certainly will. <laughs> you've been you've been listening to the uh, yeah. <laughs> you've been reading well, up on I've the old seen, newspapers. I, I've seen uh, I've seen a few of your YouTube videos. I mean, you guys taught. You, the, there's a lot of juggling. There's a lot of acrobatics that are involved. Uh, you're tossing human bodies around like they're stuffed animals. Uh, it's all part of the fun. And and there's the there's just constant motion on the stage is the one thing that I keep picking up. Yeah, well, they spend a lot of time in rehearsal, and certainly as the show progresses, uh, keeping the transitions smooth, just filling any gaps. So there's no dead time. I mean, you know, being on stage is a privilege, and, and having an audience in front of you is a privilege, and it's wonderful to be able to just constantly create a show that just moves seamlessly towards, well, it's not exactly a, 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 a marvellous goal, but it's certainly an anarchic, wonderful sort of presentation. And to keep it entertaining the whole time, why would you have nothing going on, you know, really? <laughs> What's the most difficult part of the act? Uh, for ourselves, I think, uh, look, at oh, just keeping on top of your game, really, constantly. Yeah. Being on tour is um, is a little bit, uh, it's difficult because a lot of the gear gets packed away for long periods. And you have to make everything look like it's so easy and seamless, right? Well, you, you, yes, you do have to make it look that way, but it, it, it's part of the enjoyment of being in the gig. I mean, the challenge is to create something that is seamless and is enjoyable to actually perform. So it's not really a an issue it's just one of the challenges that's you know fun all right, so um, you're going to be at the the City Schubert Theater. It starts opening night is tomorrow night, which I'm so excited to go, and it goes through Sunday. Um, you can get tickets. You can go to celebrityseries.org. I'm guessing you could probably get them uh, at the door at the Schubert. But you, uh, do you have any downtime? Is there anything in Boston that you you really want to do or see or experience well, while you're here? Well, they have to get over to KO Pies and get some meat pies yes. and sausage rolls. Meat pies. We've, we've already <laughs> set that up. But, um, but anything... Uh, that you you know like Fenway Park or it, what is it that you want to see while you're here? Anything in particular? Uh, what about the other guys? Do you guys want to see anything in particular? <laughs> you know, maybe go down Newbury Street and do shopping. Go to you I've know. I've heard there's some great um, live music and theatre to be seen in Boston. I mean, we're in the theatre district and just walking walking um, from our hotel down to work this morning. Walked past about three or four different theatres and went, oh, gee, I'd love to see something there. You know, it's very vibrant and the Muse Museum of Contemporary Art looks good. Beautiful. Museum, right. Boston Commons. And you take know. a stroll through Chinatown, which is right out your back door. Oh, yeah, we had the best Chinatown, dumplings Boston's there, Chinatown <laughs> is, del is delicious. Yeah, take a nice walk through the park, do a little shopping. We'll give you some good ideas. Um, it is uh, Circus Oz uh, at the Schubert Theatre. It uh, kicks off tomorrow night. It goes through Sunday. Um, and thank you so much for coming up. You guys, I, I can't wait for tomorrow. And uh, it looks like it's just such a good, fun night. And it also happens to be um, the week that the kids are on vacation. School so vacation if you're week, looking right. for something to do with your kids, uh, there is a 530 show on Thursday. There is a daytime show on Saturday. So um, certainly a chance to uh, have your kids have an amazing experience. So thank you for coming and enjoy your stay here. Thank you. Thanks for having yeah. us. And uh, looking forward to see you, Boston.